As of the 22nd of June 2016, the Door and Hardware Federation trade body that represents the UK gate and door industry has released a new code of practice. One area clarified is the definition of lower rail crush or impact hazards on swing gates. This area has always been a concern when addressing safety requirements, as the current BSEN standards did not clearly define any parameters. The DHF TS011 2016 Code of Practice now provides a simple set of terms to define both crushing and impact in this area. Firstly, let's take a look at a swing gate in its opening and closing sweep. DHF TS011 2016 defines that where the gap beneath a swing or bifold gate is constant and above 120mm, then this can be considered an impact only risk. Please note, all other hazard areas of the swing gate, the hinges, sweep obstructions, and etc., must be assessed separately and designed out or eliminated where possible. The Code of Practice also defines that where the gap beneath a swing or bifold gate is variable and or below 120mm, then this can be considered a crushing risk. Again, all other hazard areas of the swing gate must be assessed separately and designed out or eliminated where possible. When addressing these crushing or impact risks, care should be taken to select an appropriate solution that eliminates or reduces the risk as much as possible. The Code of Practice lists several methods to achieve this, including safe design, application of force limitation through motor technology or safety edges, or elimination of all contact hazards through the use of light curtain devices. In the following animation, the gate leaf has been fitted with lower rail safety edges on either side of the gate to protect the crushing hazard. When implementing this type of solution, the forces exerted by the gate should be measured in line with the force testing requirements laid out in the Code of Practice. Following the completion of these tests on any type of gate, it is recommended to create a report or document, presenting the values recorded along with the location and details of the customer's gate, the date and time, and the conditions that the tests were carried out under. This information is vital to demonstrate compliance and provides written evidence that the gate was safe on the date of testing. For more advice on DHF TS011 2016 Code of Practice and to stay up to date with the latest in gate automation and safety, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash easygates. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.